I think it's a great aspiration to have a pan-European solution. Um, it's not obvious to me that there are many well-trodden paths in any area of European collaboration where those sorts of things exist. Um, so I think it's a great aspiration to have a universal uh, access, but to be honest, I, I'd, I'd uh, be on the sceptical side of believing that that was possible. I think GSK, in GSK, we have a very serious intent for rare disease medicine. We have a very broad range of discovery uh, performance teams who look for products right across a whole range of, of conditions uh, with the focus of getting things that are uh, designed to deal and tackle with major unmet needs. So I think in a way we have some advantage because of that breadth of discovery and the relative improvement recently in productivity of drug discovery in GSK. Um, some of it, I think, may well be due to the successes we've had in the oncology area, where we've brought a number of products forward over the last few years which have got uh, rare oncology indications, um, but also a number of partnerships we've done, So, with, whether it's with uh, Telethon for gene therapy uh, in Milan, uh, or whether it's with a partnership with ISIS for oligonucleotides. So, so I think we've managed to create a number of opportunities over the last year, and we're hopeful that we'll be able to bring these to the market and, uh, and uh, get them to patients as quickly as possible.